kindly note, all the reports from the Integrity Commission will be reviewed by the officers before they are tabled. Mm. And it will be tabled in the soonest possible time. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Juliet Holness, has tabled the four reports she received from the Integrity Commission in Parliament on Tuesday. But what was striking was when she sought to clarify her ruling on reports submitted by the Integrity Commission, stating that people have sought to distort what was said, and listen to her word, distort what was said. She then went on to restate what her ruling was about reports submitted by the Integrity Commission under Section 54 of the Act. This is Cover Story Highlights. Let us keep the speaker honest, but before we do, I invite you to subscribe, like, share, and comment on the content. We now know that the four names submitted to the Parliament last Wednesday did not include any names from the illicit six members of the House who are allegedly under investigation for illicit enrichment. The tabling of these reports in Parliament come one week after they were submitted to the Speaker and the President of the Senate. What the Speaker said when tabling the reports in Parliament on Tuesday is concerning to many. The Speaker was reported in the media to have reiterated her statement made on November 7th in respect of her ruling on reports submitted by the Integrity Commission stating that people have sought to distort what was said. Let us listen to the section of her ruling that she stressed on Tuesday. Reports of the Director of Investigations submitted under section 54.4 will be tabled as soon as possible after receipt by the parliament having regard to the serious nature of the matters that are contained therein it will require the immediate and direct attention of the house and this is a section of the November 7th ruling that she restated in the House on Tuesday. What she failed to highlight was this section. Kindly note, all the reports from the Integrity Commission will be reviewed by the officers before they are tabled. Mm. And it will be tabled in the soonest possible time. This was when opposition MP Julian Robinson sought clarity from the speaker. Speaker, thank you. I am seeking clarity on a couple of matters. First, you indicated that the officers would review reports from the Integrity Commission. Could you indicate who those officers are and what the purpose of the review would be before the reports are tabled? And this was our answer. In respect of who will read the report, I do not recall your second two questions. I, after, I, I, I indicated to the parliament before, and I hold that view. The officer reading the report would be the speaker, as in the case of the lower house, or the president in the case of the upper house. The intent is not to read for any purpose, more than to appreciate what it is that you are signing to be tabled in Parliament. Every single thing that is on the agenda for Parliament, every item, every question asked, every bill, every motion, every single thing that is placed on the agenda, the Speaker in the case of the lower house and the President in the case of the upper house is required wired to appreciate that they are placing on the agenda. No, so, so there's nothing that the speaker or the president can do with the report. So for Juliet Holness to reiterate one section of the act that forms her ruling on November 7 and deliberately omitted another section on Tuesday when she tabled the reports in parliament and to say that what she said was distorted is rather disingenuous. 
We therefore conclude that her strategy is to muddy the waters and distract the Jamaican people. We can only hope that when the reports involving the illicit six is submitted, she will table them right away. Now concerning the four employees at Petrojam that the Integrity Commission has recommended that criminal charges be brought against them, cover story highlights reserve our comments on this issue. We maintained that they are innocent until proven guilty. One thing we will say for sure is that there is a pervasive culture of corruption at Petrojam. This has been going on for some time. We have seen where the culture of fraud, corruption and mismanagement has led to the resignation of a former minister with portfolio responsibility. Let us be clear. Cover story highlights is not saying that the minister did anything wrong. What we are saying is that he was responsible for ensuring that the entity displays utmost accountability and transparency. Now, Daryl Vaz has been given the responsibility for the entity and still there seem to be no change in the culture. He faces the challenge of instigating change in Petra Jam's culture. The question lingers, does he possess the will to enforce proper accountability and transparency? And that was Cover Story Highlights. Tune in again next time for another edition of Cover Story Highlights. In the meantime, please subscribe to this channel, like, share and comment.